Hello! Is anybody there? Right, we are live. It's another name, another Monday. It is eight o'clock in the UK, and what am I cooking today? Well, you'll just see. Well, actually, you probably already know. So, I am cooking with Juliet. We're just waiting for her to join in. Hello! Loads of people waving. Give me a wave. Say hello. We love it. Right, here comes Juliet. Okay. Have you noticed? No crazy, crazy camera. Right. Uh, okay. Let's see. Whoop. Whoop. Now. Oh, dearie me, I thought I was getting better at this. Yes. Hello. Hi, <laughs> so, Hi everyone. Hi, Rachel. Fabulous. Juliet Sears with us tonight, who is a master baker. If you haven't seen her baking already, you must go check out her Instagram or her new website, or well, you're on telly as well. I can't really keep up with all your <laughs> baking. Um, so excited to have you here, all in support of Women's Aid, who are doing amazing things to help women and vulnerable children in domestic abuse situations. So if you have the possibility to donate, you can just go straight to my profile and click the link and donate some money. If you can't, then just share the video, tell your friends about it, like it, that helps immensely as well. So what are we cooking today, Julia? Spread the love, everyone. Spread the love. Yes. <laughs> so, I'm so excited because I love eating these. So we're going to cook quesadillas. Woohoo! Um, delicious. So easy. Um, this is my favourite filling. But the nice thing about this is you can just like chuck anything you like in. So hopefully some people are cooking along with us too. But look, oh, yes, look some people what... are tuning in from California. Hi, everyone. Yeah. But I saw that. Me this you... evening. I've been looking forward to this. Uh, well, me too. Actually, somebody just asked me about my lipstick. So I knew this was going to happen. Not that I'm paid by Yves Saint Laurent, but I will put the name. It's Rouge Pour Couture. So, but I'll put the name in the, in the video if anybody wants to know what my lipstick is. <laughs> um, so I love this recipe because we're going to do it in under 16 minutes, aren't we? We certainly are. <laughs> <laughs> I so think, I've got I think my we'll trusty... it trusty timer here this is like like you said it's super easy to do you can kind of wing it with whatever you've got in the fridge i'm going with your recipe because i love to cook other people's recipes okay here we go right we got 16 minutes are you ready i'm ready is everyone okay. else ready <laughs> yes hi chris all right here we go hey chris okay somebody say hello from also okay right let's go what are we doing first Okay, so the first thing we want to do is warm up our pan. So um, just heat it sort of medium, medium to sort of high. Okay. I, I Just get it nice and hot. So, um, so uh, really want to cook the recipe. I've warmed up mine up already. Oh, have you? <laughs> oh, I haven't warmed mine up. Yes. It won't take long. Um, I'm always like, I, I'm cheating. I want a head start. <laughs> well, let's see. We might be finished in under 10 minutes if we're not careful, because this is such an easy one to do. <laughs> That's even better. People love easy recipes. I'm all about just getting people in the kitchen. And if this helps you get in the kitchen because it's even shorter, that's better. Well, so that's, I'm warming that's up perfect. my oil. Warming yep, so we're whacking. So oh, sorry, go on. Got some olive oil, which I'm warming nice. up. But you could just use like any kind of cooking any oil. oil you like. no? yep, yeah, any cooking oil you like. I've got just a bit of sunflower oil actually today. Because I like to cook perfect. my mushrooms on quite a high heat. So they go nice and kind okay. of brown and crispy. Um, Ooh, brown so, and crispy. I like brown, brown and crispy, crispy mushrooms. mushrooms. Okay, <laughs> right. So, Hello from Melbourne. God, oh, I don't know what time it is in Melbourne. Oh, so, I, right, yeah, so, don't ask um, me about time differences. <laughs> <laughs> so once it gets nice and hot, we'll give it another 30 seconds or so. Yeah. Um, we're going to chuck in our mushrooms and also yes. a nice pinch of chilli flakes. Oh, yeah. If you like it spicy. So, yeah, so uh, you can kind of adapt it to how you like it, really, can't you? Exactly, because some people like it nice and mild, or some people like it super spicy, so that's a great thing. You can tailor it to whatever you like. That's great. So I'm, I'm going to chuck in Argentina. my mushrooms. Oh, right, let's in chuck in the mushrooms. Yep. It's kind of weird when you're wearing headphones, because I've got noise cancelling ones, so I can't hear my sizzle. <laughs> can you not hear? I can hear my sizzle. Can you? Maybe, Maybe you might have to go closer you, so you, people could hear the sizzle. You, um, anybody hear the your sizzle? Up before me. Here we go. I'm going to put mine on my, my, my uh, higher one. Okay. 
Right, right so, so um, a bit of chili. Ooh. I like quite a lot of chili. Okay, I'm I'm doing medium here. I'm being a bit um, what's the word conservative with the chili tonight? Uh, <laughs> last <laughs> week I was cooking with Lara and we were doing kimchi noodles, cheesy kimchi noodles, which are super delicious. It's worth um, checking out the video. And I, I went a bit too spicy, but it was good. It was good. Oh, but so I'm going <laughs> to balancing it out. That sounds lovely. Cheesy kimchi noodles. Yes. And it's also check a really easy recipe. So yeah, right. I've got some nice so sizzling and frying going on. I'm going to turn you up a tiny bit, actually, because my, my, I turned you down earlier because, right, let's try that. Okay. So yeah, just want to kind of like saute them till they're kind of like starting to kind of brown off. I'm going to put a tiny bit more oil in mine, actually, because mushrooms suck in a lot of oil, don't they? They do. They do indeed. I think the trick is it's not to um, pile them on. You want to give your mushrooms lots of space in the pan. You give yeah, the mushrooms lots sort of space water, in the pan, otherwise they? they get, yeah, they get a bit sweaty. Right. Yeah. Okay, so the mushrooms are looking good. Mushroom. <laughs> Hi from Japan and Brazil. That's great. Right, okay. So, I need... Oh, Juliet's just got stuck. Have we got... A... We're a little bit stuck now. Let's see what's happened here. I'm cooking on my own. Right, I'm just going to keep on cooking the mushrooms and hope this comes back on. We've got it getting lots of... Hi from Russia. Well, Juliet's disappeared. I will keep on cooking the mushrooms. So you want to cook them until... They're kind of nice brown, a bit toasty on the outside. Oh, Juliet, come back. Hopefully Juliet's good. Juliet, just press accept again and you'll pop back up. Oh, hi, Julia. I'll see you tomorrow for the cinema. There's a hello from Japan, um, Japan, Glasgow, Russia, Belgium. Oh, I love how international it is. Right, okay, I think, yes. Let me see. We get Juliet back. Let's see. Yay! Yay! You're back. Don't I worry. Don't know what happened. Oh, don't really worry. Good. Anyway, technology for you. You were keeping and oh. making very, you know, suspenseful. Will she come exactly. back or not? Oh. It's <laughs> lucky it does take only about 10 minutes, so I've got a lot of time. So I'm going to put in some, I've got some lovely smoked paprika. So yes. I'm going to put some of that in. If people okay. like, I, I love to kind of add the sort of like smoked um, paprika because it's got such a lovely smoky flavour, funnily enough. Yeah. I think it's a nice way to up, like if you're doing vegetarian food, sometimes you need to add a bit more layers in terms of flavours, I find. Just yeah, because, um, it, it can be a bit, you know, uh, yeah. It, it adds can... a bit more, yeah, a bit more complex, doesn't it? And exactly. It adds a bit more punch. Ooh, so oh my, mine look done. How are you yeah, mine look done too. Right, right so I'm so just going to put them, these out. out, take them out. So I'm just going to put mine in a bowl on the side. Snap! Now, so now I'm going to turn my heat down, actually to um quite low. Okay. I don't think you should put your phone on because I think that might come. Oh, okay, sorry. Um, so we don't want it to um burn our tortillas. So so I'm really low. All right. And now we'll I'm got... really low. I'm turning mine down. Do I need a bit always... more oil in the pan? I like to do mine dry. Okay. Um, All right. So I mean you. If... You can if you want. They just go like really crunchy, but I think they're quite nice dry because there's a lot of cheese okay. on the inside. Right. Um, well, let's so do I've that. got someone saying I can smell it from here. It smells good. <laughs> um, so I've got some. Um, you can use whatever you like, but I've got corn and wheat tortilla. So I'm just going to put one into my pan. I've Cheers. got carrot ones. <gasps> oh, they look good. Yeah. So this is my se sneaky thing of getting the kids to eat more veg. This has got like thirty percent carrots in it. <laughs> so. Oh, that's cool. Yeah. And my I've never seen these. that before. So, yeah. Right. So, I'm just right. putting the quesadilla in. So, somebody was asking what we're cooking. We're doing cheesy mushroom quesadillas with guacamole. Super easy. Super yeah, really easy. Easy. So, I've put my um, tortilla in there. And now I'm yeah. going to about half the chicken. So, I'm using a mixture of, like, half mozzarella and half cheddar. Okay. Use, I, I like a really strong cheddar as well, but you can use any cheese you like. So, I'm going to put about half of it onto my tortilla. Yeah. Just sprinkle it on. Oh, lovely. And then I'm going to add um, the mushrooms back on. I'm just going to scatter those all over the cheese. Okay. Oh, lovely. 
Oh my and um, nothing beats melted cheese. It's like oh one no. of my favourite things. It's, it's the best. And I'm so hungry today because I've been um, busy doing sweet things all day. So I've been so looking forward to this. Right. And I'm just going to just wipe my hand here. Um, and then I'm adding a couple of uh, a couple of small spring onions. Yep. Yep. So that gives it a little bit top. of bite and freshness, doesn't it? Yeah, definitely. Just otherwise, they can be yeah, they can be a bit kind of like neutral, really, a bit cheese and mushroomy. But with the yeah, it adds up some freshness in there. And then the rest of the cheese. Oh, more this cheese. Is, yeah. So I put the the um. Well, I've got like thirty five grams of each. It's, it's not a huge amount, but I do like mine really cheesy. <laughs> but okay. Again, if you want to be a bit more health conscious, you could put less in. Uh, health conscious? What's that? <laughs> <laughs> My my slogan is butter makes everything better. <laughs> That's a good slogan. <laughs> I agree. So if anybody um, wants to see how much cheese I've got in here, I don't know. This is cast yeah, iron. Cheese so I've got, comparison. Yeah. Uh, who's who's got... got more cheese? What does everybody think? Put, put your answer look... in below. Who th who's close. got more cheese? I, I'm not <laughs> sure. I think. Look at that. Look at that. It's like oh, I'm yeah, really. It's a couple amazing. centimeters there. Right. Oh. Okay. And you've got your carrot in there, so you're kind of like you're allowed to have a bit more cheese because you've got your veg to balance it. Yeah. <laughs> totally. Totally. Right. So I'm going to get my next one and just pop it on the top. So just kind of, it's it's. Um, I just kind of use my hand to press it down because it's not super super hot. <laughs> um. So before I um, yeah. leave that and go on to the guacamole, I'm just going to have a quick look underneath and see if it's okay. browning off too much. So it's already getting quite coloured. So I'm just going to probably move mine onto a slightly lower heat because it's surprising how yeah that's a good idea quickly. yeah I'm so i'm just gonna turn mine, mine down a little bit because that can just sit there and be absolutely quite fine and then um once that cheese has melted for like sort of like a minute then yeah it's going to be easy to flip over because it's not all going to scatter out it'll be holding holding together okay top tip give it a minute before you flip it over basically yeah so you can kind of the nice thing about doing this as well is you can have a little peek underneath like a little opening the covers and having a look and see if it's if it's um How's it doing? So I get mine's kind look. of definitely starting to go now so i think yeah. we can start making our do you know what i might even do what no, i'm gonna give it another 15 seconds i was gonna make okay. i might just go and flip mine over now actually if All yours right. looks I... like it's quite brown just flip okay. it okay let me show you what mine looks like so that's mine already Ooh. look yeah, look, my, yeah, yours looks good. I think I've got a good colour on mine. You can't yeah. see it so well because it's orange, but it's got a nice colour. Yeah, pink. so exactly. So that can just literally sit on a really low heat now, melting the rest of that cheese mm. while we make um, get our guacamole together. Somebody says, oh, I want you to come to Japan again. I want to come to Japan again. Oh. <laughs> it's been a while. I think uh, Japan's... I love Japan. It's such an amazing country. Oh, right. I'd love to visit. Right. Okay, so... Um, so guacamole, avocado. really easy. Um, avocado, so I'm just going to open up my avocado. Yeah. I'm such a, a TV cook because I've prepped all my ingredients in Well, I've prepped I all open... mine, but I'm, I'm a bit, I've got a bit of a phobia about, I've got a bit of obsession about the avocado. I don't want to open it until the last minute because uh, I don't like it when it goes brown. So I'm yeah. just going to get my, my avocado out now. Right. Oh. oh, God, I just got avocado on my... Uh, light stand <laughs> oh no <laughs> i'll show i'll show everybody uh a picture la later somebody well, said hello there, from I'll austria just... hi everyone okay. so one of one's there if, if anyone ever hasn't seen how to kind of de-stone an avocado i might as well yeah. show you be careful but you just basically get a sharp knife and just put it into the um stone and then just give it a twist so it comes out like that that's a, a so... neat little trick i learned when i worked at a vegetarian cafe in paris it is a little worry, isn't it? Because I think there's a lot of serious injuries that happen with avocado. Um, so you do have to be it. careful. Yeah, and be that and bagels. That's <laughs> always the other one. Okay. I, I haven't heard about the bagel industry, uh, uh, injuries. Industry. Well, if you imagine, like, <laughs> loads of people just naturally go and cut a bagel just with their um, hand like this. Uh, and then yes. they go through with a bread knife. And a, I, I remember someone who used to work for me and they... It's a weird story. They lived in Canada and they said that one of the biggest um, hostel admissions were cutting, yeah, slicing people's hands open from cutting bagels. Okay, that's a good one to know. So everybody at home, be careful when you cut bagels. <laughs> Definitely. So I've got my avocado in there. Yeah. And I'm just adding in my, so I've got some 
lovely chopped red onion, some fresh chilli, not too much. Not really I'm going to add hot sauce to mine. Oh, lovely. I've got this um, very, hang on, very extra spicy scotch bonnet. There's me talking beforehand, like, I'm not going to do it spicy. Okay, the guacamole is going to be spicy. Scotch I, bonnet, that's pretty lethal. Yeah, I quite <laughs> like this because it's fermented and it has a bit of acidity to it. Oh, that sounds good. So, yeah. I do, I'm a bit of a Tabasco fan myself. Yeah, I know it's quite mild, but... Tabasco is awesome as well. I um, have travelled before with Tabasco in my handbag. <laughs> <laughs> they do the tiny mini ones, don't they? Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Right, so, um, I'm gonna... so I'm adding my... Uh, I've got some chopped ripe tomato. Yep, and then there. just going to give it a bit of a mash together. I think... How do you like yours? I quite like mine a bit, like, chunky, like, not too smooth. I do, with a bit of texture. I'm yeah, nice. exactly. Sort of, yeah, I leave Well, baby of... food, you know? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, when I, when I do this for the family, usually we, I make enough for, like, so many people. You just have to get your hands in there and give it a bit of a squish. Yeah. I'm just using a fork. And then I'm going to add a bit of lime to taste. I mean, yeah. that's the thing. Some people, like, it with guacamole, it's a per very personal thing, like... How, how you do your toast. Some people don't like it too limey, too much tomato or, or red onions. Just taste it really and just see how much you like. I've got, I've got my dog at my feet right now so like hoping that I might drop something accidentally. <laughs> <That's> funny. <laughs> what dog have you got? I've got a Labrador. She, it, oh, nobody can see her. I'll show, I'll show everybody later. She's like, yeah. she's sniffing around like, please, can you drop something? Please. Mine does the same. So we call him, him a great white shark. Because he just kind of basks around the edge of the kitchen, going round and round in loops, hoovering right, everything. I'm going to have a little taste. So, yeah, I need a little tasting. bit more salt in mine. And a bit more, a bit bit more hot sauce. Oh, that's lovely. Nice and fresh. Okay. So I'm going to have a quick look at my um, quesadilla, and I reckon it might be done. If I just... So I'll just show everyone. So if you um, sort of peel up the top you can see how it's kind of like really melting in there how's yours looking i think i've turned mine down too low because it's like yeah a little bit... you have to kind of watch it so i'm a little gonna turn bit... mine over and have a look yeah it's a little bit soft so i'm gonna just turn it up a little bit because i Give think it another it needs a minute i think or 30 seconds yeah the mozzarella has quite a lot of water content in it sometimes yeah, so, so you don't it need can to be, to... Uh, yeah. Um, yeah, that's the, the nice thing about it is you can literally turn up the heat and just give it 30 seconds and it'll be perfect. But as long as the cheese is melted on the inside, yes, um, exactly that's what you're looking for. So I'm just showing, yeah, giving yeah. everyone a bit of a reveal of my melted cheese. Okay. <gasps> oh my goodness, stringy melted cheese. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> somebody thought, somebody it. spotted uh, Julie the dog passing me by. <laughs> your, your dog's called Julie? Yeah. <laughs> Don't know. I, I love the name. Give, <laughs> name the readers. So we kept Oh it. really? Yeah. Is that sixteen True. minutes? That's not six. Do you know why? It's because well, mine's done. technical hitch. We did, but mine's ready. Yeah, mine's ready too. Right. Let so me I'm going to put mine on the board. Ooh. Ooh. How's it looking? It is looking. Look, I'm going to do. Let's see. Can we do? Ooh. Oh, yeah. It's not the most flattering light, actually. It's like we've got That's some melted trouble, cheese. These, at night time, these lights. I know. It is so dark in Sweden. Like, it was literally getting dark at three. And that not it? Was, it's only the beginning. Oh, it's only gosh. the beginning of the darkness. I was um, feeling terrible. Upset earlier. It was half past four, I think, the uh, darkness came here. But when, So do you don't get, um, do you get almost 24 hour, hour darkness at some point or not that bad? Not that bad. But sometimes the sun doesn't come out for like a couple of months. <laughs> that happened last year. Didn't come out for a couple of months. You just have to stay in and be cosy and eat lots of comfort yes. food. I know, exactly. Right, I'm going to plate up. Um, right. oh. Oh. oh my goodness, we've got some stringy cheesiness here. It's amazing. Amazing. Um, I look, look at this, everyone. Like we can see there. Oh, it's not the most. I'll do oh, a no, bit of photo. But beige food is the best food. <laughs> yeah. it's, it's, it's quite colourful with the orange, you know, the carrot uh, tortillas. So it's yeah. all right. And you then you've got the green. Flex of green. Like 
Yeah. I'll make it look beautiful I'm in the photo. Try. Take afterwards. All right. I think so too. Okay. So everybody mm. can be jealous. <laughs> wow. Mm. And then you could just put the guacamole on top, can't you? Just put it on the top, spoon it on top. I'm actually going to um, have a bit of sour cream with mine as well and sort of load that up. Mm. Delicious. I'm so sorry. I'm just like stuffing my face here. But <laughs> enjoy that combination. Mom. Such a good tasty. combination. Yeah, really, really tasty mm. and super, super easy to do. Oh my goodness. Thank you so much, Juliet. To everybody who's tuned in, thank you so much for tuning in. And if you've donated, big thank you as well. If you want to donate and you can donate, you just go to my profile page. It's all going to Women's Aid, who are doing amazing work supporting women in and children in domestic abuse uh, environments. So please, if you can, if you can't, share the video, like the video, because that helps too. And in the meantime, make sure you go check out Juliet's new website. It is pretty awesome. So yeah. Thank you. Juliet, Thanks for having me. You're welcome. Thanks so much for teaching me this delicious recipe. I, I think my kids are going to love this one, but okay. um, I don't think there'll be any left over. <laughs> so I'll have to make <laughs> it again. I'll make some tomorrow, probably. <laughs> okay, everyone. Um, see you next week, everybody. I'll be doing another guest. And Juliet, bye. Bye. Take care. And you, bye, everyone.